Welcome back to the channel, YouTube family. It's your boy G, fresh off of New Year's Eve. Can't put the S on it. I hope y'all had a fantastic New Year's Eve with your family. Happy New Year. We made it out of 2020. It was a sucky year, but it provided us with a lot of perspective. Made us think about things that matter the most and what not to waste our time on, right? All right, so let's get into it. I got something new for y'all today. I've been cooking up, you know, we've been a little quiet after Vlogmas, but I've been whipping up in that kitchen, you know what I'm saying? So we got something new for y'all today, but before I get into this video, make sure you throw a like on this video. Give me a couple of thumbs up. Let me get my first thumbs up of 2021. Drop some comments down below. Tell me if you like the content that I'm giving y'all today. Share this video and subscribe for the good vibe. Like, you know, we got the good vibes over here. If you want them good vibes, you wanna get rid of them bad vibes, come over here. We got good vibes to share, all right? So check it out. What we're doing doing today wifey came up with this she said she's so brilliant I love her she's super brilliant but she came up with this dope idea this is my opportunity to talk to you all about things that have been on my brain you see my head I got a big head I got a lot of brain so a lot of things go on in this here brain and in the world and I could tell y'all if it's G or if it's goofy I'm gonna give you some context behind the whole theme of if it's G or if it's goofy my name is Greg I got two G's in my name I'm a G right I'm a G. <laughs> and then I always say stuff is goofy. So let me break down goofy. So it will forever be broken down for you. You do something dumb, you goofy. If you goofy, you are outside of the realm of cool. This is the cool realm, you over here, all right? You goofy. If you ain't cool, you goofy. That's just, that sums it up. That's all the explanation I need to give you. Cool realm, goofy realm, all right? Don't be over there. Be cool, don't be goofy. If you don't agree with me, if you a op, if you feel like what I said, if I said something was goofy, you felt like it was G, drop down in the comments and tell me why you think it was G or why you think it was goofy, all right? So we gonna jump right into it, let's go. Disclaimer, all views expressed in this video are my own and do not represent the opinion of any entity whatsoever with which I have been, am now, or will be affiliated. Thank you. The first thing that we gonna talk about today on is it G or is it Goofy? Is all these girls on the internet who be taking all these pictures on their social media with their tongue sticking out. I be so confused. Okay today, what is what does the tongue sticking out mean? Is it G or is it Goofy? It's Goofy. <laughs> of course, something wrong here. So the reason why I think all these tongue out pictures of women are goofy is because when I see that picture, and I these are all my opinions, okay? Don't take it personal. This is how I feel. It is not how you feel, it's how I feel. But when I see those pictures, it automatically makes me think like, she's a head doctor. Like, <laughs> she's, a, she's a scholar. Like, she likes to give knowledge, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, she's, she's with it without even saying it. Like, that's what those tongue pictures say. And then they be all sexualized. Like, why do you have to, why do you have to do that? Especially like if you a pretty girl, like people are already looking at you, like you ain't got to stick your tongue out to get more attention. I don't want to think about my daughters growing up and being all on social media like, it's goofy. Y'all girls need to keep y'all tongues in y'all mouth. All right, keep your tongue in your mouth. It's goofy. All right, y'all, so next up, mm, mm, mm. it's these dudes who be putting dye in their hair. So like when I see dudes, I just don't think it's G for a dude to put dye in his hair. I just feel like it's it's goofy. Like as a man, I don't want my hair to be honey blonde. I, me personally, I just could, I could never understand it. I mean, y'all seen my video, my wife, when I fell asleep, she put red dye in my hair. I was annoyed. Like a bunch of people hit me like, yo, it looks dope. You should dye your tips. I ain't never putting no hair dye, willingly putting hair dye in my own hair. What about when you dye the gray hair in your beard? <laughs> That's different because it's just regular, it's my hair color. You ain't gonna see me walking around with honey blonde or chestnut red. Those names sound suspect, yo, they sus. You can't put honey blonde or chestnut red or what, midnight, well, I could put midnight black because I put midnight black in my, in my beard, so don't trip. There's levels to this dying game, you know what I'm saying? You can only use black or brown. Once these dudes get into all these colors, 
you goofy. Oh, yo, yo, of course. Something wrong here. So this next trend, I was kind of on the fence about this, man, because I don't really, really know how I feel. Like initially, I'm just like, ah. Uh. But anyway, the man bag. You can't call it a man purse. Don't ever say man and purse to me. But the man bag, all right? It's strapped across. It seems convenient. My wife just told me she would prefer for me to have a man bag when we're out because I'm always like, can you throw the keys in your purse? Can you throw my wallet in your purse? So like if I had a man bag, I could throw all my belongings in my man bag. But there's a disclaimer to this whole man bag situation. If you goofy, don't attempt to wear the man bag. You got to be a G to wear the man bag. So it's G if you a G and it's goofy if you goofy. Does that make sense? Because that's the only way I know how to explain it. So this this one has nothing to do with fashion. Your boy Mitch McConnell. Mitch. Mitch. Congress must send more cash to high-earning households who haven't seen any income disruption during COVID-19. Just because you're rich, not everybody got money like you, Mitch. We need that money, Mitch. There are people out here who can't pay their rent. They can't buy food. They're about to get evicted. And you want to block giving these people money, Mitch? Because you rich? Come on, Mitch. Everybody ain't rich like you, Mitch. You goofy. He's printing up the money himself. This, all the money in the world, Mitch McConnell made it. Stop being goofy. Get off the Senate floor and give us the money. And what's even goofier is the fact that he's trying to couple the $2,000 payment to the American families with a voter fraud committee and the legal shield for these social media companies. Now, side note, I do think that the legal shield vote is a good thing because a lot of people don't like to hear conservative views. Everything that dominates social media in the world are all liberal views. And I am, I'm against biasness. So I think it only makes sense that voices should be equally heard. By Mitch coupling those three things, clustering them together, the 2000 never stands a chance to make it to our pockets, people. Well, the 1400, because if you haven't heard, Congress said if they pass the bill, our money will be topped off. So the 600 that you get, if you got a family of four, you about to get 2400, they'll top that off with the additional 1400 per adult in your family, but Mitch, stop being goofy. Just give us the money. We need the money. We need the money. We need the money. Bubble gum, bubble gum in a dish. Mitch McConnell, where is my stimulus? <laughs> stop being goofy. Oh, yo, yo, of course. Something wrong here. All right, so next up, cropped pants on men cropped pants on men is it g or is it goof before i answer that let's talk about the crop pant all right i i think it looks dope like i feel like if you in shape if you got a little bit of height to you like you at least like six feet you could wear a crop pant a suit jeans i mean it's it's kind of weird because you know back in the day in my era it was like boy take them high waters off you know if your ankle was showing you had high waters on look at michael jackson michael jackson made the high waters cool you know everything seems to trickle back around i think it looks good but you can't be out here out of shape got cankles you know what i'm saying you built like a linebacker and you want to rock the crop pant I think you should just leave that alone if you ain't like Dwayne Wade or LeBron James or like Chris Brown or somebody like they make the crop pant look cool, you know? So I would have to say that I think that it's G. I ain't never, I'm, I'm too scared to try the crop pant. I ain't tried it yet. I mean, I keep my pants tapered at the bottom so that they'll look good in a boot or, you know, when I wear a shoe, but like I haven't showed my ankles yet. So maybe in 2021, y'all might catch me out in some crop pants with my ankles showing. I'll make sure I put a little bit of lubriderm on my ankles before I show them to y'all, though. All right, so that's G, though. That trend is G. All right, y'all. So last up on the list of is it G or is it Goofy is Wonder Woman 1984. It just dropped. Y'all know the movie theaters are closed. I got HBO Max, though, because I'm a G. <laughs> so they hit me up, and they were like, hey, you can stream Wonder Woman 1984 for the free ski -weeski. I would have to say that I thought the movie was G. I really, I really liked it. Pedro Pascal is in the movie, and if any of you all don't know who Pedro Pascal is, he's the man behind the mask on The Mandalorian. See my sweater? He's tending to the child. It's Pedro Pascal. I like Pedro. 
There were, you know, a few things in the movie that threw me off a little bit as far as like Pedro Pascal being a villain and then Kristen Wiig being a villain too. Like I kind of was confused about how, I just didn't understand about how two villains weren't working in conjunction to like stop Wonder Woman. It was just weird. It was like two different storylines and they, they they weren't fully meshed together properly. Like, you know, it, it, it wasn't, it wasn't meshing. It wasn't needing. It wasn't like threaded together, you know, but. But um, the movie was G. I really enjoyed it for a DC movie. DC usually sucks. Like I prefer Marvel over DC. But that was that was well done. It was a G movie. That's a wrap, people. Is it G or is it goofy? I hope y'all enjoyed this first segment. This is a whole series. I'm gonna be bringing this to y'all. I don't know how often. I'll figure it out. It might be just spontaneous. I might just drop it. Is it G or is it goofy? Once a week. I may drop one every two weeks. Who knows? You got to stay tuned to find out when they're going to be dropping though. Drop down in these comments. Give me some ideas. You know, we can talk about a whole bunch of different things. Album releases, new movie releases, people doing different things in the government, politics, different countries. Let's talk about it. It's great. Let's talk. Let's start off 2021 having conversations about is it G or is it goofy? Is 2021 gonna be G or is it gonna be goofy? It's yet to be determined. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you drop me a like, share this video, subscribe for the good vibe, subscribe for the good vibe. We got them good vibes over here and keep coming back. I love y'all. Happy New Year again and I'll see y'all on the next one. All right? Disclaimer. All views expressed in this video are my own and do not represent the opinion of any entity whatsoever with which I have been, am now, or will be affiliated. Thank you.